Yeah, I have a uh, freshman, Sean Stanley, right here, sophomore, Griff Real, uh, freshman, Colt Gentry, senior, Caleb Beck, and junior, Justin Collins. Coach, uh, starting things off, just your initial thoughts about the championship game this morning. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was everything that we thought it would be. Uh, we talked last night. We, we've been talking since Thursday about it kind of being a rock fight and just going to be a <laughs> just physical, tough game. And we like those games. Um, that we, we kind of talked about how this year we some people don't think we're as tough because we're a little bit more skilled on offense, but uh, they were super tough today. And when you when you have kids like these, it not everybody not everybody gets it like like what Jaden is. And uh, when you when you got these five and everybody in the locker room, like everything just is it, special. It's different, and these kids make it that. And I'm just super proud of how they fought and played tonight. Questions from the board? Coach, we kind of talked a little bit about your seniors and how they can help get you back to this mm -hmm. point, but you got three young guys here that helped kind of carry you to this point, too. What did you kind of see from them on this stage today? Yeah, I saw, you know, we saw some kids that were maybe a little bit nervous on Thursday and, and played that way. And today in the championship, did not play that way. And it was super physical and super tough. And we had just everybody played so hard. It is really good to see because they're. You know, going to carry it going forward. You know, I know Caleb's a senior, and and he was just outstanding for us today. Um, and those seniors really set the the mark for toughness and, and attitude and how we play. But it's really nice for these these freshmen, sophomores, and juniors to get get a lot of run today and play really well. John, you had that big three to tie it up in regulation. How much of that is the confidence you've kind of gained throughout this year, and how much did some of the upperclassmen kind of help you help prepare you for this? Um, they just like really pushed me and. Just like me being younger, just like wanted me to push to be like the seniors and like my uh, Beck and Nate, they just like, I just wanted to like, and just like do the best that I could do for my seniors. And group, you guys do have a decent amount of talent coming back between the three of you and some of the rest of the guys. How do you take this moment and build off of it moving forward? I mean, I just kind of told them, like, look up the school board and don't forget that. We still got two, three years, some of us, and we're going to be back to just. We can't forget this. We got to build off this moment. Coach, they made that run. I think in the second quarter uh, to pull up by eight, y'all I think extended to about a 12-0 run into the second half. Uh, your team just hit big shots, one after another, to kind of answer every run they had. Just how proud were you of just the effort they showed? Yeah, it, it, you know that they went on that run, and we we talked about it before the game. They're too talented. Like Grafer's too talented. They're too well covered. They're going to go on runs. We knew it was going to happen. Uh, so we really talked about weathering those runs when they do happen, and. Um, you know, they, I don't remember exactly what happened. We hit a shot right there before half, I, I believe. And, you know, they just, they, they faced adversity a lot. And so when they faced it in the game, I don't think it really faced them much. Uh, they were able to bounce back. And McMullen kind of did the same thing to us on Thursday. They had, they went on big runs and we were able to handle it and bounce back. They, they've seen everything. Like we ran up through the gauntlet. They, they faced every, every situation and, and handled it very well. Talk a little bit about, I mean, there were a lot of things that weren't going right there towards the end of regulation, but to come back and tie it up as in an overtime, talk about that. Yeah, you know, I think that just, we, we talk about toughness a lot, like, and, and we don't really mean physically tough, we mean mentally tough, and when things break down, you know, there's a lot of talented teams in the state of Texas that didn't get here, and, you know, one of our, one of our things is toughness, like toughness, 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 and when, when things go bad, we're, we're a big believer in mental toughness, and they never got down, they never got discouraged, and, and we hit some big shots, we got some good rebounds, took a big charge down there with about 12 seconds left, six seconds left. Uh, you know, that's, that's what we're talking about when we talk toughness, and they are um, one of, if not the toughest team we've had at Jayden in a while. And talk about trying to defend number 22. Yeah, you know, if, if he was just 6'8", that would be one thing, but he's also 6'8", and he's physical, and then he's 6'8", physical and talented, like, it, it's extremely tough. Like, I, I thought our guys did excellent. I, I'm so proud of the post defense we did uh, that we played. They really pounded the ball and made an effort to get it to him. And, uh, our help side defense was pretty good. He, he's just a super talented player. I mean, I think we did what we did, what we could do. And uh, all credit to him for just being a stud. And uh, all credit to our guys for defending as hard as they can. I don't think anybody in the post is going to be I – think, I think everybody that played in the post tomorrow will be pretty sore. And, and just talk about your thoughts over, about overtime. 
Yeah, you know, it, we talked yesterday, you don't often get number one versus number two in the state championship. You know, it doesn't work that way all the time. And we were able to get one versus two, and then we were able to get overtime out of it in the championship game, you know. And, uh, you know, they played really hard. I thought a couple, couple breaks here and there, and, you know, maybe it's a, a different story, but they, Grayford's just so well coached or so talented. That, you know, they never broke down either. That's an extremely tough team over there on that side as well. And um, it was just, you know, we, we played as hard as we could, did everything we asked. No, just talk a little bit about what's it like to, when you made it to the final, you got as far as you could, could and I mean, I guess you got to feel pretty, even though you lost, you got to feel pretty good about it. Yeah, one of y'all want to take that one? Cole, you want to go? Uh, can you repeat the question? About making the state, how's it feel to make a state, make it as far as it could? Oh uh, yeah, it's awesome. Um, not many teams get to do this. So even being here is just a big accomplishment and that's something we're proud of. And Coach Gregor is the repeat you guys have been trying to come back or you know, how tough is it to return to the state and how are you going to kind of instill that in some of these young guys coming back? Yeah, you know, getting out of Region 1, you know this, uh, getting out of Region 1 is so tough. Like, Region 1 is just a meat grinder every year, year, year in and year out. We know that we have to play our best basketball every year, but we, we don't talk about it a lot, but I think it's an expectation. Uh, we, we don't have to talk about it because these kids work spring, summer. They work all year. Um, so that, that's kind of the expectation. Um, and we'll, we'll fight to get back. I think this should generate some – some work in them where they, they want to get back and kind of avenge this and, and, and they've tasted it so hopefully now they want to go finish it and go all the way. Hey Sean, um, big shot today you've been able to be with this run with Jaden and this run of success for years now. Now that you're playing here on the final stage on the final day what's going to take away as your best memory here with Jaden? Um, it would just definitely be with getting to be with my friends because my friends are my family and my, my seniors getting to work with them and them pushing me every day, getting me to go to the gym every day, pushing me extra in practice so that I can perform and do what I do as a freshman. Last question. Coach, can you just walk us through the last sequence of uh, being the regulation? Kind of what you're thinking for that last play. Yeah, we we're trying to get Shaw. Sean was doing a great job of attacking. Uh, we were going to try to, we were going to fake the screen. Uh, we were going to kind of slip the, the high ball screen uh, and try to get Griff on a backside roll and then have shooters and corners. And uh, Grayford did a good job of not letting Char get to his spot and kind of force him out. So they were able to, to kind of guard him and get to Ben in the corner. Ben's a great three-point shooter uh, right there. And the, the plan was to get Sean going downhill to the rim, and if they help, kick to the three in the corner. And, and, and like I said, Grayford's ball, on ball defense did a great job of just kind of pushing him out and not letting him get downhill as much as we wanted. Thank you guys. Thank you.